So testing consumer devices and building up the wireless infrastructure are key elements of the Internet of Things. But just as consumer devices are, are being connected these days, as are larger industrial systems. Now, the key requirement and a key thing that we're looking to focus on, on on this side is that you're looking to integrate and create and create systems to interact with the physical world. And you're doing this by adding in actuators, sensors, and co running complex systems on processes and FPGAs. And then you look to coordinate these systems with others. Some that might be similar with the original system and others that might be radically different. And the key thing here is that these systems need to be managed, maintained and synchronised, sometimes over vast distances. Now this is what we're referring to as a cyber physical system, where the physical world and the internet of things meet. And the Lavirio architecture has proven to be extremely effective in meeting these demands. Two areas where you and I have created amazing cyber physical systems are smart machines and smart grid. And the compact reel has played and will continue to play a key role in these industrial applications. In fact, over a decade ago at NI Week, we unveiled the very first compact Rio. And every year ever since at NI Days, we've had the privilege of a first-hand look at how you've been using the compact Rio in order to overcome challenging problems. We've listened and learned to your system needs and we've evolved the platform to help you innovate. Whether you're, connecting, whether you're solving advanced control problems, connecting to advanced sensors, or even working in harsh environments, we've been there to help. And throughout the years, we've noticed that you've had one consistent request, and this has been for increased performance. You're always looking to add more protocols, more algorithms, more sensors, and to do all of this, but faster. And we want you to do that. So to kick off the next decade of us innovating together, I'm happy to introduce our latest software design controller, the new Performance Compact Rio. And to tell us more about this, I'd like to bring to the stage Maria McAvener. While designing the new Performance Compact Rio, we had two goals in mind. First, to make it easy to do advanced control and analysis and second, to simplify your system. Performing advanced control and analysis requires processing power. As Dom previously said, you are continually pushing the limits of our products, whether this be running complex controls or adding embedded vision. Running these complex tasks can really put a strain on your controller, causing your system to slow down or even fail. So, to put our new performance compact Rio to the test, we've designed a demo that combines many of these intensive tasks. The demo uses two USB cameras to inspect steel balls of two different sizes. The images are then processed, and this information used to control 10 axes of motion, ultimately sorting the balls by size. Running these intensive tasks is a real challenge. Image processing, 10 axis motion control, but the new performance compact Rio with its Intel Atom dual core processor handles these parallel tasks with ease. But compact Rio and the LabVIEW Rio architecture bring you more than just a powerful processor. Its real value comes from the processor FPGA and I.O. all working together in a single software tool chain. It is common for machines such as in the smart factory to require tight synchronization between their movements and their I.O. This allows them to maximize performance while still maintaining quality. To, set, to demonstrate this level of synchronization then, because it's the 10 year anniversary of Compact Rio, we wanted to show you something really cool. Watch this. Now the 10 axes of motion are synchronized. The jaws are interlocked together and are spinning at high speeds. If they were to lose synchronization, it would be a catastrophe. We're also using the FPGA and the Compact Rio to control the LEDs and synchronize them to the rotation of the jaws. We're doing it so precisely that you can perceive the spinning jaws as a cylindrical display. Again, it is the processor, FPGA and I.O. all working together in perfect harmony to complete this task. That's great. So you've shown us how we can use a compact Rio for advanced control and analysis. 
This is done by adding more processing power and FPGA space. But what about the second goal, to reduce the system complexity? Yes, well, with the industrial internet of things, as you say, John, things are getting more and more complex. Modern machines must integrate lots of different subsystems together, such as HMIs, vision acquisition systems, and motion controllers. On top of this, the design teams building these systems are getting smaller, and the design cycles are getting shorter. So simplifying this complexity is really critical to their success. The new Performance Compact Rio can really help developers facing this challenge. Take, for example, the touchscreen monitor on the demo you've just seen. It is connected directly to the Compact Rio. That's great. So an embedded designer can remove the HMI subsystem from their task and incorporate the HMI task itself directly into the Compact Rio. That's right, John, which should save them both time and money. We call this new feature Embedded UI. With NI Linux real-time and the integrated GPU on the Intel Atom processor, you can now use a single real-time VI to run both your deterministic application code and your HMI directly on the Compact Rio. Embedded UI, that's awesome. Thanks again, Maria. Thanks.